friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on Agile Tester Certification. We are in Chapter 3, uh, Tools in Agile Projects, and we are looking at the next topic that is 3.4.3, .3, Software Build and Distribution Tools. If you quickly recall the previous tutorials of this series, we have already spoken about the same in 1.2.4, which was about continuous integration. And let's quickly talk about a small topic about software build and distribution tools, which can also be referred from the previous tutorial. So in this segment, we are trying to understand what kind of build and distribution tools can be used, which is assisting the Agile testing methodology. So generally, the Agile methodology involves the daily software de build and deployment, which is integrated continuously with the existing piece of code. And that's where the distribution tools and build tools becomes very important because each piece of code which is being created has to be deployed with help of build tools and then distributed to the further segments. Or maybe it could be integrated in any part of the product, so we, we, we generally call it as distribution tools. So in addition to the automation tests, automation tools, which we have again learned from the chapter one, that we generally automate unit testing and uh, the static analysis and many other things. We also use tools for the software build as well as distribution tools. And it's not limited to that. In addition to this, we also have tools which are for static and dynamic test to measure and profile performance, extract and format documentation from the source code and facilitate manual quality assurance process as well. So in Agile, as we have limited timeline, we have quick sprints, tools play a vital role altogether. And for this, it is really playing a vital role for build and distribution tools because continuous integration is like one of the pillars in the Agile methodology. Further, this continuous application of quality control aims to improve the quality of the product as well as reduce the time taken to deliver it by replacing the traditional practice of applying quality control after completing all the development. Now, as you remember that in the previous segments, we have understood that with help of continuous integration, we get to know a lot of integration issues at an early stage itself. Because as a code is built, it has been through the unit testing, but at the same time, the continuous integration happens, which assures you that the integration is successful. And you don't really have to wait for all the unit to be developed and then start with integration, which was in traditional approach. Whereas in Agile, we do it simultaneously. And we also have certain principles like fix bug first. That means before you move to the next iteration, you clear all the bugs from the previous iteration. So these are the things we generally assist them and understand. Now what are build tools which can be linked to automatic deployment tools as well, which can fetch the appropriate build from the continuous integration or build server and deploy it into one or more development test, staging, or even production environments. This reduces the error and delays associated with relying on specialized staff or programmers to install releases in these environments. So we don't have to really depend on any individual, rather the tools when decide on its own that what things can be deployed where and integration can be done very smoothly. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Stay tuned for upcoming tutorial. We have few more tutorials to go from this chapter and this series. So we'll be completing with this and we'll be coming up with another series of tutorials. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, and keep understanding. Should you have any queries, feel free to comment below. I'll be there to assist you. Thanks for watching the video team. Happy learning.